Three trees are standing on a hill and dreaming of what they will be. Each has plans to be important to the world in some way. Years pass and the trees grow and then one day they are taken and made into things. Trees become ordinary objects that aren't anything like what they have planned. They begin to lose sight of their dreams until one by one, something happens to make their dreams come true. The first tree is now a manger and is used to hold the son of God. The second tree is a fishing boat used to carry the king of kings on his way. And the third tree is now a cross used to kill the son of God. But then he conquers death and is now a symbol of what God can do. The story ends when three Bible quotes about God's plan for his people. Once upon a mountaintop, three little trees stood up and talked of what they hoped to become when they grew up. Just look at the night sky. The stars shine like jewels, and that is what I want to hold. Not stars, but treasure. I want to be covered in gold and filled with the shining, rare, and precious stones. I will hold the biggest treasure in the world. The second little tree looked out at the small stream trickling by on its way to the ocean. Do you hear the stream that sings as it is running down our mountain to the ocean? I want to be part of a ship, the strongest ship in the world. I will carry kings and important people across the mighty waters of the ocean. The third little tree looked down into the valley below where busy men and women worked in the town. Do you see all these people? Down there in the town, I don't want to leave this place. I just want to grow big and strong and tall so that every person who looks up will see me with my army raised to God, and then they will raise their eyes to heaven and think of God. Years flew by like minutes as the trees grew and grew. Rain came, snow came, and seasons passed. The trees grew strong and tall. One day, woodcutters came to take the trees to the next phase of their life. The first tree went to the carpenter's shop. This tree is beautiful. It is perfect for me. I knew it. Now I'll be made into a beautiful treasure chest and sold to an important king who will use me to hold the most precious jewels in the world. I can't wait. But it was not to be. The carpenter made the first tree into an ordinary feed box, and it was placed in a barn. The second tree was taken to a shipyard. This tree is strong. It is perfect for me. Now is the time they will use me to build the biggest and strongest ship in the world. I will carry kings across rough waters to distant lands. I can't wait. But it was not to be. They made it into a simple fishing boat and sold it to a fisherman. The third tree was sad when it realized they were going to cut it down to. Any kind of tree will do for me. How can I help people to think of God if they do not leave me here to point the way? What will become of me? The third tree was made into beams and left to sit in the lumber yard. Now the trees were very far from each other and they felt farther still from their dreams. The first tree worried when the woodcutter brought it to a carpenter shop. With this tree, I will make a feed box for my animal. I want it to be covered in gold and sparkling jewels so that they would use me to hold the most important treasure. Now I am covered in dust and mud and hold hay for animals to eat. I will never be a treasure chest now. Second tree was concerned as it arrived at a shipyard. I was going to sail the ocean, carrying kings on important mission. Now I am a fishing boat and I'm too weak to sail the ocean. I will never be able to carry kings now. The third tree was confused when the woodcutter cut it into strong beams and left it in the lumber yard. All I wanted was to stand straight, tall, and true, pointing the way for others to look to God. Now I am just a simple being. I will never be able to remind people to think of God now.
Many days and nights passed as the trees settled into their new roles. They began to forget their dreams. Then, one clear night, someone new came into the barn where the first tree that was now a heat box stood. I wish I could make a cradle for him. Who is this lady and why is she sleeping here? This is a place for animals, not people. The tree soon understood why they were there, for the lady had a baby and placed it in the feeding box with fresh hay to soften it. Manger is beautiful. Did she really just say that, that it was okay? She said I was perfect for this baby. She said I was meant to be here for him. This is no ordinary baby. Suddenly, shepherds came and knelt at the feed box where the baby lay. They spoke of heaven and angels. I'm holding the greatest treasure in, in the world. After all, this is the son of God. My dream has come true, but not in the way I want. This is even better. More than 30 years went by, and then, one evening, a tired man and his friends climbed into an old fishing boat that had once been the second tree. The tired man lay down and fell asleep as soon as he could while the others began to sail the boat. Who are these men? They don't appear to want fish. Look at that one in the back. He's fallen fast asleep. They aren't even here to enjoy a nice boat trip. Why are they here? Although the weather had been calm and quiet, a storm began to grow. There was wind, thunder, lightning, and then waves began to get bigger and bigger. What am I going to do? I dreamed of being a strong ship, and now I'm just a simple boat. There are so many people in me right now that I do not have the strength to get them across. We are going to sink, and all of us will be lost. The men on the boat began to panic. One went and woke up the one who had been sleeping. He calmly stood and stretched out his hand. Then he said one word, peace. The storm stopped and in that moment, all was calm again. No one from this earth could have done what that man just did. He must be the king of heaven. I dreamed of carrying kings where they needed to go. And now I have carried the king of kings along his way. My dreams have come better than the way I wanted them to. A couple of years went by, and then one Thursday morning, the beams that had been the third tree awoke as they were pulled from, from the woodpile. The third tree grew more and more nervous as it was carried through a town where there were many angry and shouting people, and some were throwing things. This is the opposite of what I dreamed of. I had to stand straight and tall. So people would look up high and think of God. Now I'm being used to make others sad or angry. Even the man carrying me doesn't want to. I'm too heavy. He fell and another had to come and help lift me along. Where are we going? They went to the top of a hill and the beams that had been the third tree shuddered as they were tied together and the man's hands and feet were nailed to her. It felt... It had been done this to the man. He hung on there on the cross of beams, and some who looked cried, but most were angry and glad to see the man up there. He standing up straight and tall and pointing the way to God. Now I am standing straight and tall again, for most of the people here are not thinking of God. Now this man who is nailed to me is dead. Looks, look at his friends crying and take him down. This is the opposite of what I had dreamed I'd be. The man was taken down and three days passed. On a Sunday morning, as the sun was coming up, the beams felt the earth tremble beneath her as a stone was rolled away from a tomb. That man is alive again. No one but God could do something like this. Look at this, look at the love on his face. He has changed everything. Even death has now been conquered. I dreamed of standing straight and tall and pointing the way to God, so they would think of him. 
those who used me thought to make me something that was the opposite of that. But God had changed it. And now when people think of me, they won't be able to stop from thinking of God. My dream has come true, but not as I planned. It's even better. All three of the tree's dreams had come true in ways that were all different than they had planned. It had been done in ways that made them even better. So the next time you feel sad because you aren't doing what you planned or getting what you want, be still and take comfort, knowing that God has something even better in store for you. Romans 8, 28 said, And we know for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. And Proverbs 16, 9 says, The heart of man plans his way, but the Lord establishes his steps. And lastly, 1 Corinthians 2, 9 says, But as it is written, What no eye has seen, nor each ear heard, nor the heart of a man imagined, what God has prepared for those who love him.